welcome to my digital planning channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you a few quick tips and tricks on how to work with images and digital stickers inside of GoodNotes. So let's just jump right in and get started. Real quick though, before we do, I wanna clarify that digital stickers are essentially just images with clear backgrounds. They work the exact same way as any other image. Our sticker kits come with both the ping version and a good notes file with the images already placed for easy use. You can create your own sticker books easily by adding any image you like to a blank sticker book, which by the way, we do have available in our shop if you're interested in that. But for today's video, I'm going to demonstrate using one of our already made sticker books, but I will also show you how you can add stickers if you only have the ping versions. Um, so let's start with the stickers from a pre-made GoodNotes sticker file. Here's my sticker kit with the images already organized for me. You have a couple different options or ways of bringing these stickers over. Uh, the first one is with the lasso tool. Um, the lasso tool up on your toolbar is this little kind of weird circle um, in the middle of the tool toolbar. When it's selected, it will be highlighted in blue. With that selected, you can draw a circle anywhere inside of the sticker that you want to pick up. So you don't need to take the time to draw a perfect um, shape around whatever sticker you're going to pick up like I am here. You can simply, as long as any part of the sticker is inside the circle that you draw, it will pick it up. So I usually just draw a small circle somewhere inside the sticker. And then you, to grab it, you'll need to tap inside that circle you just drew and you'll have this black bar that pops up and you can click copy and then you'll want to pull up the planner which for today's tutorial I'm going to be using the Be Wild dated coiled planner and you'll tap and hold anywhere on the screen and click paste on that bar that pops up and it will bring the sticker over and it already brings up this little blue box around it that you can use to resize. So if you grab this little arrow at the bottom, you can resize the sticker to whatever size you want for the design you're trying to create. So that's the quickest way and the way I use the most to bring over my stickers. I wanted to show you real quick though that you also have the option, instead of switching back and forth, inside good notes like this between your sticker kit and your planner you can also pull this up in a double screen by clicking this little it kind of looks like a box with a line through the middle of it over in the right hand corner and then clicking open a new window and this will split the screen for you and then you can actually um, do the same thing you're already doing but see both pages at the same time. Okay, so the second option for adding stickers and images is from your camera roll. So I'm gonna close this page here. So if I have a bunch of stickers, say in my camera roll on my iPad or tablet, you can use this picture tool right next to the lasso tool to bring those in. To do that, once your picture tool is highlighted, You'll just tap anywhere on the screen and it will pull up this box and this is your feed from your um, camera roll. So let's say I wanna bring this one over. I just click on it and it brings it over and again, I can resize it by grabbing this little arrow right here. The third option of adding stickers is using Dropbox. Dropbox is a great option if your iPad doesn't have a lot of space. You can store the individual ping images inside a Dropbox account and then just drag and drop them into your planner. So to do this, you'll need to have an iPad that supports split screen view. Most newer iPads will do this and you'll wanna make sure your Dropbox is in your shortcuts at the bottom of your screen here. So to pull up Dropbox in a separate screen, You'll just slide up from the bottom until your um, shortcut bar pops up and then you'll grab the icon for Dropbox and drag it over to the side of the screen. And then I like to move it over using this little black bar right here so that it only takes up a quarter of the screen instead of half. Now once you're inside Dropbox, you can navigate to the file or the folder. So I'm gonna grab these same stickers, which is the Be Wild kit.
and you can simply just tap and hold and drag the stickers over onto your screen. And then again, you can resize them if you want. Another quick tip, if you're having a hard time, if you have a really slow internet connection or really large file, sometimes it won't drag over or drop over. So to get around that, you'll click on the three little dots next to the image you want to bring over and then you'll click export and then you'll actually click copy image. Once it's copied, you can use your lasso tool again inside of GoodNotes, tap and hold on the screen and click paste and it will actually bring that image over from Dropbox. So if you're having a hard time with the drag and drop, this is a super easy workaround for that. All right, so now that we've covered how to add images to your spread, let's go over how to edit and manipulate them. So since I already have a bunch of stickers on my page, I'm just gonna use the ones that I already have placed down. Once it's on the page, you can do simple edits with the lasso tool by again, drawing a circle anywhere inside the image tapping on it and then using this menu bar to make changes. So from here you can click on resize, which will pull up that same little blue box with the um, arrow to resize. You can also cut and when you cut something, it will delete it, but it saves it so you can immediately paste the same sticker back down. This is really helpful when you're working with layers and they're not layering the way you think they should. Um, you can also copy so that you can repaste it down or you can delete it. Um, one of the things I wanna show you with the lasso tool that's really helpful is if you click on the lasso tool, you actually get this menu bar that pops up and you can turn off different types of objects inside of GoodNotes. So if you have a sticker and you have, say, some kind of text on top of it, let's just add something real quick. Whoops, sorry guys. Okay, now if I want to move just the sticker, it will move the text as well, but I can actually change, turn that off by deselecting the text and I can move just the sticker without moving the text. And vice versa, if I want to just delete this, I can do so by turning off the images toggle. The other option you have for manipulating and editing your images once they are on your spread is the picture tool. You can use this to select any image, and this is nice because it will only select one image at a time. So even if I have these layered, I'm gonna put this one on top. Even if I have these layered, if I use the lasso tool, it's gonna move both of them. If I use the picture tool, I can select which one of these images I want to use or move. But the other benefit of the picture tool is if you tap on the image, you can quickly delete or resize. You can also stretch, which is really helpful when it comes to plain boxes. So all of our sticker kits come with, let me show you, these plain colored boxes that you can stretch inside of GoodNotes, which is really nice. So if I want this to be a square instead, I now have a coordinating square box and I can make it whatever specific dimensions I want using the picture tool. The other useful feature of the image tool is that you can crop images. And to do that, you just tap on the image you wanna crop and then tap again until the little black bar pops up. And then you'll click on crop and it'll pull up this little box here. And you have two different options. You can, if the rectangle is selected, it will keep this squared off so you can crop it using a um, rectangle version and modify it that way or you can do freehand which means you can draw so I'm going to oops I keep accidentally getting out of this sorry so let's say I just want this little leaf part right here I can draw around it and just crop this out hit done and now I have this little just this leaf from that image this is really convenient if you want to use images from the internet or Pinterest or something like that um, and you want to be able to, you know, edit out the background or something like that, using the crop tool is super helpful. The last thing I want to show you is, I kind of already did it earlier in the video, but I want to show you real quick what I did. If you have an image that you've placed down, GoodNotes will always place the newest image 
on top of everything else. It doesn't allow you to work with layers. Like if you're familiar with Photoshop, you can rearrange the layers. Note Shelf will also let you, you know, push things to the front or to the back. Um, Good Notes doesn't have an option for that. They will just simply put down whatever you put last on the page will show up on top. So to get around that, you'll just use the cut um, option with the lasso tool. So I'll show you, let's say I have my green box that I placed down after this bow and I want the bow to be on top. I'm just going to use my lasso tool, draw a little circle, tap inside and click cut and then paste it back down and now it's on top. So there you have it. Super quick and easy way to rearrange um, your images inside of GoodNotes. So that's it. Those are the options for working with images inside of GoodNotes. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And if you have questions, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.